morning, everybody. Good morning. We had this drawn up perfectly on June 13th. A soft breeze, a sunny sky, but sometimes things change, and now I'm fighting a wind. Hold on for one second. <laughs> All right. So today is an absolutely awesome celebration. I want to thank from the bottom of my heart for those that profound more than a land acknowledgement. I think it's a acknowledgement of the land, but acknowledgement of the people and every value we stand for. Thank you very much. Thank you kindly. I want to thank all of you for being here. My name is Mayor Bruce Harrell, and we are celebrating the opening of this great park. Uh, this city park, as you may recall, City Hall Park closed almost two years ago. And that was a different time in our city. I'm just seeing a handful of people wearing masks right now, those are the smart ones because they realize that we're not completely out of the dark, but we all had on masks a few years ago for the obvious reason. And moreover, a lot of our parks were not accessible. Uh, we had people still living unsheltered in certain areas and we had to find resources to help shelter them. And under our model, under our One Seattle approach, our commitment to our parks sort of reflects our commitment to people. We want them to be safe, vibrant, healthy, a place where you can recreate, shake the hand of a neighbor, introduce yourself to a stranger. That's what our parks are here for. Trees, our lungs of the earth. A great place to be your authentic self, and that is why we are celebrating. Today's celebration reflects the energy and vitality that we're all thrilled to bring back to City Hall Park. You may recall back in April, we previewed immediate actions that we would take as a city to activate our downtown area. We, uh, commit, we made a commitment, and my comms team, they always hate when I make commitments on certain days, but we did say, we're gonna open this park by June 15th, and they sort of, they cringed a little bit. I said, well, my, my wife's birthday's this week. I wanna give her a birthday present. I want to give the city a birthday present to show that we are on the right track. That becomes important because you have to have a North Star in anything and everything that you do. If your plans, if you have plans to achieve something and the plans don't work, you don't vacate the plan or perhaps you modify it. You, another fan, I think, there. Perhaps you do vacate the plan. You have to evaluate, but you never vacate the goal. You never vacate the goal. And that was what we're trying to do here. We're joined by some of our great partners who are committed to ensuring that this park remains a well-maintained and welcoming space in our city center, center moving forward. This rejuvenation of City Hall Park filled with enhanced Enhanced amenities and a robust activation plan is not just an investment in our city's landscape, but an investment in you, our people, and quite candidly, even people that like to yell. That's okay, I get yelled at on a daily basis. It sounds like music to me, because in this city, we don't, we don't denigrate one another. We don't cast that kind of judgment. We try to build our community up, no matter how loud the noise gets. And when we talk about, thank you. And when we talk about safety, <laughs> safety should be a unifying element in all of our communities. I don't care what your race is, your culture is, your personal identity, your age. You can be old like me, it doesn't make any difference. Safety is a unifying element. We want everyone to feel and be safe. We want them to be able to self-optimize who their authentic selves are. That's why I'm proud that we will say we will have our park rangers here. Our park rangers are here to protect and serve and keep us happy and healthy. This reopening is more than just an opening of a park. It's a celebration, a reflection of our shared vision of a downtown and of a, of a vibrant and safe downtown area. That's what, that's what this is symbolic of. And quite frankly, a lot of work, a lot of commitment, a lot of faith went into these efforts. And that's why it is always appropriate to start with the authentic land acknowledgement. And having said that, I'd like to welcome to this stage 
Superintendent A.P. Diaz, and I just want to say a few words. I'm going to forewarn you, A.P., that if you have written notes, you better bring a something. <laughs> it's a little windy up here, A.P. But A.P.'s joined the city some time ago, and there are few individuals I would say this about. They have that early morning courage and commitment to change this city for the better. And he is the superintendent of our park system, and we all take pride in our parks, which means the magnifying glass has been on A.P. Diaz, and I'm proud to say that he's been one of the finest leaders that this city's ever had. I present to you A.P. Diaz. Not as tall as the mayor, gonna lower this a little bit. I didn't know we were going to church this morning with Mayor Bruce Harrell, but as always, his comments are spot on. The comments you just heard from the mayor today are a reflection and a steadfast commitment from him and his team to revitalize and recapture our downtown core neighborhood and our city of Seattle. I am a new resident here, a new worker, but I've already captured and fallen in love with this amazing city. And we absolutely cannot and must do it with all of our will and might together to come up with solutions to continue the vibrancy of this amazing city. We cannot settle. In the mayor's office, and if you're part of the mayor's team, and there's many people here today, many of my fellow colleagues, I see directors from the Office of Economic Development, the Seattle Center, housing, transportation. We are all united in a common mandate that the mayor has given us not to settle on downtown, not to settle on Seattle. It's gonna take work, it's gonna take strategy, it's gonna take vision and partnership. And this opening today is a reflection of a start of this city coming back better and stronger. Parks proved themselves throughout the pandemic. They were the one saving place that got us through the pandemic in and now getting us out. Everywhere around the world, when the entire world was sheltered, people came to parks for respite, for recreation, for nature, for wellness. And now we're reopening our parks little by little. Do not give up on Seattle parks. We were just ranked by the Trust for Public Land the number eight park system in the entire United States. And that's a testament to everybody here today who has invested their time, their sweat, their energy, and their money through our Metropolitan Park District funding to make our parks better and stronger. And I wanna thank all of you for investing in parks. I wanna thank our partners here today from the County Courthouse, from the Pioneer Square Alliance, from our Seattle Parks Foundation, as well as the leadership team. My direct supervisor, the Executive General Manager, Adia Memory is here, as well as Director Tim Burgess and Director Markham McIntyre. We work weekly together on downtown issues, on downtown activation strategies, because that is what the mayor has asked us to do. So this is a day of great celebration. You mentioned we have new employees, our park rangers. We went from two to 12, we're going to 14, and then we're gonna to go to 28. And that's amazing. So we need rangers in our park system. So I wanna salute all of the rangers. And if you see a ranger today, please go up to them, introduce yourself, shake their hand, tell them welcome. Welcome them to the table. Tell them thank you for your service. And together we'll make this park system even better than it is today. I just want to talk about this park before I step away to the next speaker, but you can see some of the amazing improvements that have occurred in this park. And it took a lot of work, as the mayor mentioned. I want to thank people on my team from our Parks and Environment Division, all of our maintenance crew. They work throughout the year, when it's hot, when it's cold, when it's rainy, when it's snowy. They work in all of our parks and they never stop. I wanna thank them all today. I wanna to thank two of our deputy superintendents that are here, Andy Sheffer and Mike Schwindeler and their teams. They do amazing work. If you know those gentlemen, you know that they represent the best of the parks department. So right now, 
We're working on strategies for Prefontaine Plaza. We're working on strategies for the street across the way at the extension, and we're working with our county courthouse. I want to thank all of our judges that are here today and the King County Courthouse for leaning in with us because we know that the challenges of today are not easy, but together we're stronger and together we make this city better. So there will be an activation and a robust plan here. You see some of the games on the lawns, they're gonna stay here. We're gonna have buskers here throughout the summer. We're gonna have food trucks. We're gonna have new lighting. We're gonna have activations. We're gonna have events. And if you have great ideas for this park, let us know because it's your park and it's for us all to enjoy. So get ready for more of these in downtown Seattle. Get excited for the good things ahead. And remember, Seattle shines on our park system and on our city. Thank you so much. All right, our next speaker is gonna be the presiding judge, Patrick Oishi from the King County Superior Court. Fun fact about Judge Oishi, I'll call him Patrick. He was a junior high school teacher and a coach. And I don't know about you, but I, I was a pretty good grade school student. I was pretty nice in high school, but during junior high, I acted out. I don't know something about that period. So you know if someone is teaching junior high school, middle school kids, they have a special heart. He's been a judge since 2011, and he was raised in Maui. So he left that beautiful weather in Maui to come to this. But he's been a fine prosecutor and fine defender of rights for people. And it was out of the fears of a lot of the employees, you may recall, that, that raised some of the issues uh, in the park and issues inside the courthouse. So we're very honored to hear presiding judge of the King County Superior Court, Patrick Rishi. Um, thank you, Mayor Harrell. So first of all, I just want to welcome everyone to this exciting and historic day. Um, I want to start first by giving Mayor Harrell in his office and others a huge shout out for all the investment that's being made into downtown, into this part. I know Mayor Harrell is very committed to um, public safety as well as really revitalizing downtown. And I think the mayor and his office should be commended for that. Uh, it's actually very appropriate that this stage is set up here um, because just here to my left is the historic entrance of the King County Courthouse. And it's appropriate that we're standing here because I just want to say a few words about the intersection of the courthouse in this park. Uh, hundreds of people every day of the year, year in and year out, come to the King County Courthouse uh, seeking justice. And these are folks that uh, are facing some of the biggest challenges of their lives. Uh, it could be a civil case, a lawsuit. It could be a divorce, a child custody case. It could be an eviction case or a, a criminal case. All of these cases are extremely difficult. And what we do here at the King County Courthouse is we provide a safe space for people to resolve these difficult disputes in a very peaceful and orderly way under the rule of law. City Hall Park is indeed the gateway to the King County Courthouse. And the courthouse again is where And again, the uh, courthouse is where people come to seek justice. Access to justice in the truest sense requires that everyone's gonna be safe in and around City Hall Park. And that includes uh, everyone who works here at the courthouse, the jurors, the litigants, witnesses, lawyers, and judicial officers. 
And again, King County Superior Court is very, very excited uh, to work with Mayor Harrell and his staff. And again, I just want to commend Mayor Harrell for his commitment to making City Hall Park a safe and welcoming uh, space for everyone. Thank you. Our next speaker is going to be Lisa Howard, the Executive Director for the Alliance for Public uh, Pioneer Square. A few words about Lisa. This is sort of her home, so to speak. Every single day, five, six, seven days a week, she's here working with businesses, working with homelessness advocates, working for people, trying to help people with her leadership. And it's very, very appropriate for her to share a few words and a few thoughts with her. And I want to say as the mayor, she's been an incredible partner in us trying to navigate through the last couple of years through the pandemic and what we're trying to do now. Lisa, please share a few words. Lisa. Thank you. Vibrant communities and vibrant parks can exist when they work for all members of the community. City Hall Park is an irreplaceable green space, one that holds our history as a city and sits at the nexus of our neighborhood and our civic life. When we look back on today in 10 years, my hope is that history shows that today is a tipping point, a point in time where we transition from fencing off challenges to facing them together in partnership. We're going to create a safe, welcoming place for the surrounding residents and businesses, workers, jurors, tourists, and everyone that passes through. On behalf of Pioneer Square, I wanna thank Mayor Harrell and AP and all of the city team who put in countless hours to make today and the upcomer, upcoming summer programming possible. And to wrap up, we're gathered here in this space today. If you've been here before, welcome back. If this is your first time within the boundaries of this park, make sure that it's not your last time. We're in this all together. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. Okay, you ready for our closer? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm messing with Tia. Tia, this is not Tia. Public speaks not what Tia does all the time, but we love her. She is the chair of the Pioneer Square Residence Council, and she was the former owner of Seattle Fitness, which is a gym in Pioneer Square. And of course, Tia is her leadership on the Pioneer Square Residence Council. The people who live here, that are here all the time, their voice is is of incredible importance, and we're very honored to have Tia share a few words. And she's the closer. Let's give her that warm introduction, that warm hand when she comes up. The closer. No. <laughs> Thank you, Mayor Harold. Three weeks ago, I was here in City Hall Park on Mayor Harold's one Seattle day of service. I was here with others and we were picking up trash. We were planting the flowers and the vines in eager anticipation of today. I'm thrilled to be here today. It's much more than I even imagined. I'm honored to speak to you. We're gonna kick this off with the reopening. Personally, I've lived in Pioneer Square for over 30 years, and this park means so very much to me. I think parks are important. They're important for our environmental and recreational benefits. They allow all of us to gather. They're places to think and dream, to speak your mind, and so much more. There's community celebrations, you name it. My dog will tell you, this is her green park and her stress reducer and her social hotspot. So from the roughly 3,000 of us that live in Pioneer Square and call it our home and our 500 dogs, believe it or not, we wanna thank Mayor Harrell and all those involved in the efforts to reopen City Hall Park to everyone. Amen, can I get an amen? The reopening and programming of this park is a huge win for all of us. Thank you. Thank you, Tia. Great closer. Okay, let's uh, stick around and socialize. I just want to say this in closing. We have to believe and we have to feel and we have to see our efforts. Not the city council's efforts or the mayor's office or the city attorney. When I say our efforts, I'm talking about everyone in this city that we, when we came up with the One Seattle concept, we weren't saying we're not gonna disagree, we're not gonna argue, we're not gonna slip and fall, we're not gonna have some missteps. That's life. 
but we don't lose sight of our North Star community, our North Star we found in our hearts and our values, and trust it. Trust that we are a compassionate city. This country looks at what we do here in Seattle. Seattle's on the map. I've been around the world and people, some people pronounce it Seattle, by the way, because it looks like it's S-E-A-T-T-L-E. -E. But they know what Seattle or Seattle stands for. It stands for our good people. This is symbolic of where we're heading in this city. We will keep it clean, we'll keep it safe. We will help those who need help. We will shelter those who need shelter. That is one Seattle at its best. It's a great day. Thank you for being here as we open up City Hall Park. Yeah.